Welcome to another tutorial. Um, in this one I'm actually going to show you the painting rig that I uh, have made up and I'm show you how I come up with that and actually another option that I have here that I just found in the store and it's going to make actually a pretty neat um, alternative that uh, anybody can do. Uh, and so let me uh, just show you what kind of rig I have set up here. Alright, so here's the the model that I'm going to be painting. i um, not going to see that here, but uh, zoom back and so what I have it on is I have what uh, it's on a rotating axis here and the idea is that I can rotate it around uh, all these different ways so I can access the model and it's all going to rotate around one point in space now it's not perfect um, and uh, but the idea is here it rotates around one point in space and so when it's on the camera here um, this I can turn off the focus and uh, once it's focused in there and see if I can, whoop, it's on there with a magnet, but I can rotate all that around. And uh, so those videos that you've seen me do where I'm doing that, that's all it is. So it's a camera set up here, shooting in there, and I've got some lights set up. And you can see I'm in my unfinished uh, furnace room in my basement. And so that's pretty straightforward. So you can see um, all that. Now, something that I saw in the store this actually, let me just uh, go back a second. This is what's called the gimbal mount. Um, it's like a gyroscopic uh, mount here. And uh, you can get these for tripods for cameras. Um, they're quite expensive, so I made one of my own. It's just a couple pieces of wood, uh, a Lazy Susan bearing down here. Um, this is just another bearing. These are film canisters with a magnet on top. Um, the magnet actually isn't quite strong enough, so I should have a bigger one there. And another bearing there. That's all it is. So I just hold this here when I'm painting uh, with my other hand and paint with this hand and the camera is right there. So uh, the other thing I was talking about was this. It's called the Magic Bowl. I don't know if you've seen these on TV. Um, I saw it actually in Walmart first and then this one here. In Walmart it was $15 Canadian. Um, this one here was uh, eight dollars I believe it was at Canadian Tire some sort of super special so let's take a look at that so here's uh, what you get okay so we don't really need the lid and uh, inside here we have essentially the same thing so we have a thing that is allowed to rotate on three axes so we can rotate this way this way and uh, well if I put something inside here on a magnet, then I can rotate that, that third way. So we have rotates around two axes here, and uh, that should allow me pretty much um, all my uh, range of freedom. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is uh, glue, basically glue this to the desk like that. Um, I need something to go in here to support the guy, so if the mini is kind of uh, around that point there, as long as I can see it pretty well, um, I should be able to... Uh, paint in there and as well as rotate around. Now, it's not going to give me quite as much freedom as my other rig but uh, for less than ten dollars and uh, a little bit of your time you can have your own gimbal mount. Um, so yeah let's uh, let's see what I can glue in there to make it work and be back in a second. Okay so I've uh, glued this in here. It's just an old uh, humbrol uh, paint. It's a metal tin the reason I picked that is because uh, my magnets will stick nicely to it. So I'm just going to put a, piece, a bit of super glue in there and found the, the bottom. So there's a flat bottom in this. And uh, now I'm just going to um, put a little bit of uh, accelerator, super glue accelerator. Let's see if I can get that. Okay, so I've got my super glue accelerator on the end there. Just going to put a couple of drops down there just to help speed things up and people have asked me what I've got here well it's uh, Kroger Incorporated Instaset that's just what was available at the hobby store um, Army Painter makes some I believe and uh, I like to just take the lid off and drop it on with the end of that but anyways okay so here's that's uh, should be um, there we go okay so I'm going to go over to the other setup and we'll try it out and you should be able to see what it looks like. 
Okay, so I'm back and I had a little bit of problems there. So apparently the super glue won't stick down there. Um, so I'm going to have to alter my plan. And I think uh, when I was putting the guy in there, I realized that I'm really going to need to cut away a bunch of this. So I'm going to get my Dremel out and I'm going to cut off uh, probably the front half of this circle here just so that I have more access to the model. So essentially, I'm just going to, all I'm going to need is something just to keep this rigidity here. Um, so once I have that cut off, then I will probably screw something through there. And then I also want to probably cut off a bunch of this at the bottom so I can access the mini from underneath and uh, move it around that way. Okay, so I'll come back with a bit more progress. Okay, we're all done now. Here's the, uh, the finished look here. I'll show you what I recorded just a second ago. Probably going to be out of focus, but... Uh, That's essentially what we're going to end up being able to do. And uh, this will probably be out of focus here, but uh, you can see. So what I've done is on the, the bottom one, I cut off uh, two halves. So this side and this side, just to leave me um, the strip in the middle there. This one here, I didn't touch at all. And then this main part, I cut the, the center out so I'd have access to the back side here. And I cut the uh, most of that outside, and I just have it clamped in here. So let's turn it around, and you can see um, that's all there is to it. So, uh, yeah, if you can pick one of these up for $10, it's not a bad idea. It'll help you out with your videos, and um, you'll be able to uh, make sure everything stays in focus. It's a little bit awkward to paint with. Um, I find that my bigger rig um, is a little awkward in its own way and this one here I think will be a bit more again but uh, that's why I magnetized this guy on the bottom just gives you one extra degree of freedom and uh, you can move this around like that obviously I'm using the wrong hand there but um, yeah and then figure out how your camera works hope I move that and uh, you're good to go anyways hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial uh, link to this video if you um, if you try it out and let me know how uh, how it works for you. Anyways, hope you had fun trying this out and uh, maybe I'll see you next time. Talk to you later. Bye.